Hello friends, welcome to a new lecture today on Depot Injections. In our last class, we have learned about progesterone only pills. In this class, let us learn about the Depot Injections. So, Depot Injections to overcome the inconvenience of daily compliance. Depot Injections of progestogens have been developed. So, these pro Depot, uh, progest pro pro Depot Injections in that the drugs which are available are 1. Depot, Medroxy, Progesterone, Progesterone, Acetate. So this Depot, Medroxy, Progesterone, Acetate which is called as DMPA, it is given in microcrystalline, microcrystalline aqueous solution, aqueous suspension, okay. And then the second drug which can be given is norethisterone, norethisterone enanthate. This norethisterone enanthate is, it is given in castor oil. Okay, so what are the drugs which can be, so these are the two depot injections which are available. Uh, so both are given IM, so both these are given in IM, that to deep IM. Okay. So the preparation, one of the one, one preparation which is effective, I will write the dime, uh, Depot Medroxy Progesterone Acetate 25 to 50 mg milligrams monthly injection, one injection. Okay, you will have to combine it with Estradiol 5 milligrams. Okay, this is effective. Even there are in many in, uh, many uh, preparations which are available for injection for three months, two months, and uh, also six monthly. Let me just write them. Uh, di uh, di Depot med medroxy progesterone acetate, one fifty milligrams can be given three monthly, and also this Depot uh, medroxy progesterone acetate. 300 milligrams can be given six monthly and also NETO that is norethisterone ethan enanthinate N E T O again okay, norethisterone enanthate that is NETO so this can be given on 200 milligrams twice month I mean two monthly once in two months okay two monthly so these can be used. So when, when will you start this, uh, these injections? This is started a month after delivery if non-lactating. If non-lactating, you can start within a month of delivery. And if lactating, you will have to start it uh, within uh, three months after delivery. Three months after delivery, you'll have to start, or you'll have to start a, a third month. In third month, you can tell you can, you'll have to start in third month. Okay, this is when we start the delivery, and then the pregnancy rate, you know, failure rate. If you see the failure rate is 0 0.4 for DMPA, uh, or 0 0.6 for uh, NETO per hundred women years. Okay, when do you give this injection? This injection is administered within 7 days of menstruation. It is administered within 7 days of menstruation. And there is a, so first injection 12 to 14 weeks. Okay, it is given within 7 days, I am sorry that is wrong. It is given within week, within 7 days of menstruation. Okay, next what are the advantages? The main advantages are easy to administer. That is one. Next, no worry of miss, missed pill. So we don't need to worry about the missed pill. Okay, next, good compliance. We'll have to say that the compliance is good. Uh, the side effects of lipid and carbohydrate metabolism 
these are um, not affected I mean avoided these can be avoided and if you see decreased incidence of PID ectopic pregnancy and functional ovarian cysts so here if you see we are uh, giving very less amount of uh, estrogen we are not giving estrogen at all in such cases it will avoid estrogenic side effects okay and can also be given in sickle cell anemia even in sickle cell anemia you can give these drugs okay so even in sickle cell anemia you can give these drugs because estrogen is the one which is most thrombogenic but here because uh, we are not giving estrogen so it can be given in sickle cell anemia so it is uh, reversible and it is also coital independent so these are the different advantages of uh, depot injections now what are the disadvantages of depot injections disadvantages are mainly we are giving the injections once in a month so as a result if there are any side effects if side effects so these side effects should be tolerated until the progestogenic effect is lower until the progestogenic effect is lower you'll have to tolerate the side effects and there is menstrual obviously it is a hormonal pin so it can cause menstrual irregularity and finally amenorrhea can be recorded reported at one in one year at the end of one year by one year you see amenorrhea and then it do not prevent std so sexually transmitted diseases and one more thing is uh, there is delay in return of uh, fertility it will return fertility will return that uh, there is no doubt in that but there is delay in return of fertility because if you see 80% conceive at the end of one year so it is not uh, so it, it it does not the fertility does not return so fast so it takes ne ne nearly one year for the fertility to come back so it takes some time for the return of the infertility so that is one thing then side effects of progesterone are seen what are they weight gain depression bloated feeling nostalgia so all these are seen and the other side effect is it reduces bone density bone density and induces osteopenia and it is contraindicated in breast cancer okay it decreases libido and causes dry vagina okay so this is about the mini pills so in a, sorry this is about the depot injections i'm sorry this is about depot injections thank you guys for watching my lecture in my next class i'll explain about the subdermal implants so thank you for watching my lecture thank you